Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Zyphra has just dropped this small reasoning model which seems quite good for math and coding as per the benchmark results they have shared. For me, the thing which is really interesting is this prime algorithm which they have used for reinforcement learning. What this new method is doing, it is using the process rewards which is motivated by the improvements over GPRO and also it is using more accurate token level rewards due to the learn process during the reward model. Their training recipe, also their iterative context lengthening technique is quite interesting. I already have covered some of it in my video on GRPO so if you're interested just search the channel but i believe that this prime technique seems quite good especially for faster training and also for low resource utilization i have been covering these zyphra models for quite some time now one of their uh, most famous model is this zonos which is quite a good tts model plus they have been dealing a lot in hybrid model where not only in the transformer architecture they have also been releasing these ssm or state space model plus a lot of other stuff for the last one year and i have been covering all of it so in this video we are going to install this small reasoning model which is zr1 locally and we will see how it works i also want to thank mass compute who are sponsoring this vm which is ubuntu and my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram if you're also looking to rent a gpu on very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description i'm just going to use my conda environment for that and the tool which i'm going to use in order to run this model is ubabuga's text generation web ui and I will be serving the model through VLLM. If you want to know what exactly text generation web UI is, just search on my channel with Ubabuga or text generation web UI. Or if you want to know what VLLM is, you can simply search with VLLM. I have covered both of them in great detail. So I already have text generation web UI installed and I will be serving it with VLLM. First up, we need to download the model. And in order to download the model, what we need to do, first we need to log into the Hugging Face. For that, we need to use this Hugging Face CLI. And then you would need to grab your read token from HuggingFace.co, which is a free token. And I already have that token, so I'm just going to paste it here. Press Y. And then you can see that I am now logged in. Next up, I'm just going to create a new directory called as ZR1 to save my model within the text generation web UI by the way. This is a new directory I have created and then I'm just going to download this model. Let me paste the command here. So this is a command I'm going to use where I am using this local directory and this is a model which I am downloading. And the model is being downloaded. While it downloads, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. Okay, next up, let me clear my screen and then let's serve the model through VLLM. VLLM is simple, very fast inference engine. So let's run this. It is starting the text generation web UI and that is now running on our local host at port 7860. So let me access it there. And there you go. Our uh, text generation web UI is running. Let's click on model on the left hand side. You can see that our model is already ready. So let's click on chat and now we can test this model out on a math and coding first up i'm asking it a multivariate calculus question with physics integration that to derive the expression for the gravitational potential energy of a solid uniform hemisphere of radius r and there you go now this is a short reasoning model so you see it is talking about 
um, what exactly it needs to do after understanding the context and then it is thinking it is integrating so far looks really good and i will let it play so that you could also see the reasoning and then towards the end we will check the answer but so far so good you can see that in a typical fashion of these reasoning models it is self-reflecting it is going through a lot of equations and it's not an easy question to be honest i think so far the model is doing pretty well in terms of all the equations and stuff you see it is uh, checking its own answer that way this seems off let me check the formula very nice it is really fascinating to see these um, inner workings of the model there you go so it is going towards alternative ways and then it is checking its own answer it is still confused okay, i will let it run and then we will see what it does Well, we are really putting Zyphra to test here. And the model took it time, but I think the answer is really good. Uh, spot on, I would say correct. And now let's check out the differential equation. So I'm just asking it to solve this complex differential equation and also with the explicit generic solution. Let's see how model goes. Meanwhile, let's also check the VRAM consumption in real time. Sorry. There you go. So you see, um, just 4.5 gig of VRAM, which is not bad at all for a reasoning model. And the quality is quite good, we already saw. And there you go. So it has given the final answer, which is again correct. And next up, let's check out another one. So for this, I'm just going to ask it um, a cryptography and number theory question which is again a bit complex but let's see how it goes it already has done wonderfully well by understanding what exactly i'm asking around this euler one and it has given me the answer very quickly which is correct okay so math looks really good let's um open maybe a new chat and then we will do the coding one so for the coding one i'm asking it a haskell question and I'm asking you to implement me a purely functional lazy evaluation based algo for infinite prime generation. So Haskell is a fairly old language. If you are into these altcoins, there is a altcoin Cardano. And then on that blockchain, I believe they have used this Haskell language for the smart contract and stuff. Okay. And I'm just hoping that it would someday go up in value and then i'll be a millionaire maybe anyway so there you go so it has written me this purely functional haskell question and looks really cool you know what this is the final answer and this is spot on beautiful and the thing which i'm really liking about this model is that it doesn't really unnecessarily spend time where it's not needed because some of the reasoning models they just spend a lot of time thinking if it is needed or not it only thinks longer where it is needed next up let's try out a rust question and i'm asking you to write me a thread safe object allocator from scratch let's see so you see it is just creating the plan around that code and then it is a rust code if i just go up to check Yep, very well formatted. The structure is nice. It is deriving. It is using the memory pool. You see, a very high quality code. And we just, for, I think you can even run it on CPU. It will be slow, but you can easily run it. So the code is exceptionally good. And they have even given some of the example usage. Okay, next up. Let's write a COBOL program. Okay, there you go. So it knows about COBOL too. There you go. There's a COBOL procedure. Looks really good. Wow. Okay, let's come back to modernity and I'm going to ask it to program me this 
quantum computing or Q-sharp um, highly efficient circuit that demonstrates a quantum teleportation protocol. Let's see. Very nice. So it is talking about qubits and stuff. And there you go. I'm not much aware of this language, but as far as I can tell, it is writing a real uh, targeted code. But if you are uh, into quantum computing, please confirm. Uh, I would highly appreciate your feedback. But for me, I think this looks really good. And finally, let's try out one Julia prompt. And I'm asking it to implement me a dynamic Bayesian belief network in Julia capable of performing probabilistic inference to predict outcomes. There you go. So it understands even Julia and it is going with model definition, data handling. And there you go. Very nice. Spot on. I think this is one of the best coding models I have seen in the last three days, which is really a long time in AI. So very impressive. Let me know what do you think. I will drop the link to this model in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.